In this video, I'll be showcasing recent developmental findings in the realm of ultra-high vacuum as applied to certain high vacuum phenomenon and specifically the Tesla brush effect. Now, pictured before the screen is an ordinary but very simplistic glass sphere which measures approximately 3 inches in diameter. It has been evacuated to a degree of 10 to the minus 8 tor. It does not have any special inert gases in it of any kind, nor does it have any lead-in electrodes or glass lead-in electrodes to that similar of the brush bulb. Now, of course, this was achieved by the primary use of a turbo molecular pump. Despite the very small size of this pump, which is pictured before you, it reaches pressures of 10 to the minus 8 torr with aid of a heating element or a bake-out oven. This bake-out oven enables any trapped water molecules and other contaminants found with inside the bulb to be evacuated and removed from the system. Otherwise, the vacuum pressure, the finalized pressure that is, would be completely gone within a matter of a couple days and prove detrimental to further experiments. Given the extreme vacuum pressures provided by the turbomolecular pump, this is roughly equivalent to 210 kilometers of atmosphere roughly above sea level, and to that of the lower limits of the F layer in the ionosphere and that of the upper limits of the northern lights. Now to get into the experimental findings themselves. So before the screen is shown a Tesla magnifying transmitter which has been constructed in such a way with polyethylene plastic so that to create an efficiency factor of 400. Now this coil combined with the extra coil shown on the screen roughly operates at a frequency of 2.44 megacycles. Now, the efficiency factor of this coil is so much so that the coil is provided with 100 watts of radio frequency energy, which is then magnified by roughly 300 to 400 numeric. Now, of course, this creates a vast potential gradient on the terminal of the extra coil, which is necessary to facilitate the action found and occurring within the bulbs themselves. As the bulb reaches its most sensitive state, a triangular formation starts to occur near the base of the bulb. This triangle is of yellow characteristic and seems to grow at a rate which corresponds to roughly a duration of 2 minutes. For the sake of this, the video has been set up twice the speed. By comparison, over a duration of approximately 2.5 minutes, the triangular formation goes from the size of 1 of an inch to that of 2.5 inches in length. It may also be observed that the bulb's color right after being evacuated goes from a sky blue to that of a solid white combined with the yellow of the triangular shape. Other colors around the bulb surface which can be seen as a dark blue is associated most likely with an electron beam formed by the foil skirt at the base of the bulb. Of course, this is not directly interconnected with the inner workings of the bulb as the foil skirt is primarily on the outside, causing an inner bombardment of the inner wall of the glass, in turn causing a dark blue color to form. As such special phenomenon has been found to occur in a plain evacuated globe, it is now time to turn attention towards the Tesla brush bulb. Shown before the screen is a perfected form of the brush bulb itself with a foil skirt on the elongated neck so that to supply the bulb with radio frequency energy. It may be noted that in the latter half of this excitation process that the plasma inside the outer globe is starting to conform itself to an abnormal shape. It does not seem as though that the triangular formation will occur in this bulb as in the previous bulb since there is an inner glass electrode or lead-in electrode which allows this matter to conform to a certain and specified shape which this globe or this inner globe electrode allows it to. So that to showcase the great sensitivity of these bulbs, it is best to place them in between two inwards facing coils. These coils are made to work in tandem on an operating frequency of 5.5 megacycles and possess a great efficiency. Their magnification factor when operated in tandem is roughly 850 numeric. This allows the generation of a great voltage node or potential gradient on the terminals of each coil closest to the bulb. In the space surrounding the bulb and in the bulb, this voltage gradient enables a great generation of plasma and other unique formations to occur with inside the bulb. These pictures show the bulbs operating at full power 100 watts input to the coils. 
Notice that the brush bulb possesses more of a whitish color as Tesla states as opposed to the plain bulb which does not have anything. It should also be noted that the plain bulb has been worked for a longer period of time as opposed to the brush bulb but did not show any white color closest to that of the brush bulb in any time of its working. The sensitivity of the brush bulb is easily represented by the orb which is formed inside of it closest to its center and aided by the inner sphere. Once this inner sphere is activated, this orb is able to freely move about and is heavily influenced by any surrounding field. As shown in the clip above, barely moving it or keeping it in close proximity to the coils is able to alter its shape and its direction. More development will be shown in follow-up videos on increasing the sensitivity of the brush bulb as well as the perfection of the carbon button lamp.